Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool or Nintendo Bruce here, and I am going to show you how to download the free software known as Yu-Gi-Oh! Dev Pro, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Online Simulator, without any hassle. So that's even getting around the advertisements and all of that sort of weird stuff. Um, now the reason I am doing this video, especially with my grisly voice uh, being ill, is because uh, I've actually received a comment which worried me. Um, I've had lots of requests of, oh where do you download this, how do you download this, blah blah. But the thing which took my eye was uh, someone asked, oh should I be putting my credit card details in? And that really really sparked me off to do this video so through all of this you don't have to put in any credit card details debit card details put any money towards it for going from A to B it's all for free uh, that right how about that um, but yeah I'm gonna show you how to do it properly so starting off simple stuff we're going to load up our normal web browser and whether it be Google or Bing, it should uh, end up the same however you go about it. So just tap in Dev Pro. You'll see it's appeared in my search history already because obviously I have downloaded it. Um, we just press enter. And here we go. So obviously got a lot of stuff here. We've even got another how to download Dev Pro thing. Um, but all you do is go to the very first site here. Um, that is the official uh, link to get to the download anyway. So you've got a few things here, um, I'm going to take you through all of them. Um, I'm going to end up right clicking and opening up another tab, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, end of the day, you only need one of these downloads. Um, and in fact, I would probably suggest the mirror ones because uh, they seem to be a beefier file, meaning you'd probably have to accept a, a bigger update once you download the proper, uh, you know, once you download this other one here. Um, but I'm going to show you it all. So starting off, we go into the big green one and uh, oh you could be making three thousand to eight thousand dollars the secret of money um, obviously this is a advertisement now they can be quite tricky looking um, there was one which was a simple background uh, saying okay what system do you run what area are you in and it all looks proper legitimate but as long as you see that ad fly thing you know it's an advertisement so just skip the ad now, this is a semi-broken link here. Um, I'm assuming this has happened ever since the 21st of October, or anyway, 2013. But all you would do is click that. And like I say, this one's the smaller download out of the lot for some bizarre reason. Um, so you might have quite a lot of updates to do afterwards, but it's still an official um, setup, you know. Uh, feel free to open it up, accept the downloads, and just go from there. Anyway, I'm gonna end up canceling it, because I'm gonna otherwise have a load of these <laughs> dev pro things in my downloads tray and obviously this is where it appears in your download tray once you have downloaded it um, let's get rid of that actually so mirror one now this brings us to media fire I mean media fire has been around for a little while and uh, sometimes this does appear with a oh enter the letters as they appear on screen the usual thing and it's usually a little video you've got to play with sometimes an advertisement um, but you've got to go through it skip the ad and then um, obviously tap in the letters or numbers however they appear and press download uh, and it's quite confusing actually because it's got a, a red one rather of a sorry authorized download um, and there's a green button to the side of that which says oh had enough of these uh, letters and um, number things well don't download that because that's again an additional program which is a pain in the ass so as you see here you get a pro setup download 480 meg it is a beefy file so obviously you would click an advertisement has appeared up here just get rid of that that has nothing to do with your dev pro status you see that it's still downloading here why would you enter another tab to a completely different company you don't want to do that so again I'm gonna cancel that just because I have it already going to mirror 2 now so this is what the link used to look like um, with the original download button uh, that might change in the future, but we'll see, we'll see. Well, I won't, I've already got it, so <laughs> there we have it. Um, now you see three download buttons. Sometimes this one here is a different advertisement entirely. Um, and also, you see that this is actually the same iLivid. Um, this can be 
a different bar entirely. So whether it's iLivid or another type of advertisement, this one is always an advertisement of sorts. Um, so you can see here, even when I'm moving away from the download button, I can still click it. That's because it's an advertisement. So ignore that one. Go to the one in between here, the one which actually highlights as a button, click it, and there you go. Hi, so and I'm not sure how you arrived at this site or who recommended it to you. It's because I got kicked here. Get out of it. <laughs> I do apologize about that, guys. You will get certain voice advertisements. But as you saw, as soon as I got out of that website, it then started the download process automatically. Again, I'm going to cancel it. Notice that was the exact same megabytes as the other mirror. And speaking of mirrors, mirror three now. Now we're at deposit files. Uh, regular download or gold download, you don't want gold, not unless you, for some odd reason you've already got an account with them. Um, yeah, it costs stuff and lots of advertisements again if you go through that gold stuff. So again, you see all these things here, money-wise, um, ignore that entirely. And you've also got two download things here, yet again, one by Deposit Files Downloader or the other by your normal browser. You want the normal browser. Deposit Files Downloader is it another piece of software. So ignore that. Just go to Download File in regular mode by browser. Uh, click that. It's now thinking a little bit. Sometimes it comes up with the letters and numbers thing again. For example, like now, now there might be some horrible, horrible noise, which I do apologize. There we go. Oh, never mind. And now skip ad should appear. In fact, I'm glad that advertisement came up so you guys know how to um, how to skip it anyway. Okay, so baby boomer, what a word, eh? Continue. Download file in regular mode by browser. Yes, please. Your file downloading has started. Okay, so again, 481 meg, the normal dev pro setup. So. That is practically all bases covered. The other one, Magnet, actually kicks us to the same place again. So I'm not sure if that's a lingo for something I'm uncertain of, but there you have it. <laughs> so now that the download process has started and whatnot, um, that would appear in your downloads tray. Um, I might have got rid of it already um, because I didn't need the file anymore. Um, you go Dev Pro or Dev Pro Setup. Yeah, I've got rid of it. Well, anyway, you would double click it. It would be like a little installation icon. You just press, you know, next and whatnot. Um, in fact, bear with me two seconds, guys. Okay, guys, what I've actually gone and done, just because I don't want to give you a half-assed vid, is I actually went and downloaded the whole thing anyway, again, even though you still see it here in the corner, um, just to show you again just how to process it. So, you go Pro Dev Pro Setup. This is the 480 megabyte version you see here. So, double click, wait for it to just do its thing. Do you want to run it? Yes, definitely. Uh, English, United States, whichever you prefer. And then, welcome to the wizard setup, blah, blah, blah. The setup will install Yugo Pro. Please click next to continue. Um, what I'll do, I'll go to preparing installation. I won't actually install it because I don't want it messing up my decks and stuff that I've got. But this is the uh, how it all looks anyway. So, if we go to next. Uh, okay, yeah, just pick whatever folder you want it to go into. The setup wizard is ready to begin the Yu-Gi-Oh Pro Dev Pro installation. Click install to begin the installation. If you want to review or change any of your installation settings, click back, click cancel to exit the wizard. So as you can see here, there's no need for credit card details or anything here. This is all the official free software and whatnot. And then once it's done installing and doing its thing, um, I believe I actually created the Dev Pro shortcut personally, just to go on the front there. Um, are you sure you want to cancel? Yep, remember that's just me. Okay, so finish. Alrighty, I'll get rid of that for my downloads uh, for, uh, pile rather lately, uh, later. And now, Dev Pro. So, again, this one's a shortcut. As far as I'm aware, this always appears because it, it is a custom bit of software. Oh, here we go with the update. I've actually got an update to process. How about that? So that's what it would look similarly, I'm assuming, if you download the smaller version. Oh jeez, look at all this. Don't worry guys, this is all normal. I've seen it many times before. It's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> and then it should load up a semi-long window. I say should. Here we go. 
and now most of the time when the uh, servers aren't interrupted and stuff you'll get the latest patches so here we go changelog 1.9.8 so that's the current one now see it's for the new ban list that's appeared as well um, yeah as you can see this is updated quite often which is nice and if you could go down or rather if you go down it will show the later logs and whatnot um, so yeah there we are now if you do have a username and password you go straight in there but as we've just downloaded this uh, I'm playing the oh well I haven't actually got an account yet so if we click register over here so you create a username create a password and as long as it hasn't been taken then that should be it and then you're allowed in simple as that um, so if I just put in my stuff here obviously you guys cannot see my password it always does that anyway and here you go so this is the uh, this is just the basic uh, the basic desktop or the basic menu I guess you could say of this um, so you can either start straight away with uh, decks that have been created already although because these guys aren't updated uh, you'll probably find some banned cards in there if you want to create a deck just go to deck edit and you'll get some loud horrible annoying music uh, so enable music get out of that so yeah here you go and to simply look for cards uh, you can go search if you know what you're after already like uh, Law of Darkness see notice it narrows it down already um, if we go to the limit you can go to all the limited cards it, it's very very easy if you know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh then a lot of this makes sense already unfortunately this is not a tutorial in how to play the game they will be through separate videos uh, but yeah as you can see very very easy software to use once you've created your deck you make a name for it press save as and that's it all done and dusted so I think we've just about covered everything there are a few other buttons here as well um, the other one that is detrimental to the game I might as well cover it is uh, see here you've got the format, I prefer TCG, those of you that follow me, so, so I can go to TCG, search, and you've got all the ranked games, you've got the unranked games, although it still classes what your win-loss uh, death, ra death ratio, I'm thinking of computer games here, your win-loss ratio anyway, um, and yeah, you just select the game you want to go into and go from there. Um, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Occasionally there are errors um, and sometimes you might not be able to enter a match for uh, a long while or the system just has um, glitches where you just can't play. But that's all down to the server and stuff. That's nothing you're doing wrong. Uh, as long as you get all this screen then perfect. Um, you get a little chat beta here as well. Or beta rather. So you can click the channel list. Uh, DevPro English. For me anyway. There you go, that shows you all the people, so you can start a chat with someone, obviously there I am, Zadik, of course, why not? Um, also, I might as well show you how to add friends, so you can go to user list, uh, search, oh whoops, that searches everyone in the channel list obviously, but you can search for someone, oh, I don't know, who's on my friends list, I wonder if uh, my good old buddy Dragox is on, uh, Dragox, no, maybe not. Perhaps because he's just not online. Um, but yeah, you can search for anyone, select them, and then add them as a friend by uh, right clicking them. Look, here you go, request you, add to friends. You guys can. This is not detrimental to the game, but it's a good way of making friends and going from there. Uh, support, customizer. Uh, oh yeah, you can customize your decks and stuff. I haven't even bothered with my my uh, with my one, so I'm not qualified to show you how to do that. Uh, but there we have it, guys. There we have it. So as you saw, a fairly painless um, procedure in terms of downloading DevPro, completely free, no need for credit card details at all. I can't stress that enough, and that's what annoys me about these sites with ads. Uh, I mean, understandably, um, I believe the guy gets something out of uh, having his download up and maybe advertising uh, bits and bobs on there, so not his fault if he has to do that to get the download available. Um, but yes, it can be very frustrating when you're downloading the wrong things and downloading, I won't say malicious software, but software that can um, interrupt your search engines and stuff like that. Uh, especially that Delta Net one. Oh, that annoys me so much. So, if you guys still have any questions, then pop them in the comment section below or send me a PM. I'm good either way. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, until next time, guys, you take care, and I will see you again soon.